respeto ngayon sa internet. Sa totoo lang, ano nangyari sa atin, humans? There's a lot of bias around like the fake news. Like parang, I'm not gonna call anyone out. Call but, someone out. They're just kidding. No, and I see a lot. Like, stop. Please. Si Meryl Soriano, uh, my baby number three. Hello! Hello! <laughs> hello, hello everybody! It's been a while! Yep, Welcome to the, the Curious 2! Bump it, bump it! Hi guys! Hello, Ayon. welcome It's been back. a while, I know. Uh, busy kami, busy si Eli sa school, busy ako sa bang school. <laughs> sa book namin dalawa. <laughs> yes, mga bagong kuno, mga bagong tasa. Mga curious people, dahil nga curious kami, today we are going to talk about fake news. Alam nyo ba na sa December, magkakaroon na ng winter sa Pilipinas? Did you know that? No? Did you know that? But before we're gonna answer that, please? Subscribe to see our content uh, on our channel. Please like the video if you enjoyed and turn on the notification bell. So you can get notified this, ano, <laughs> if we ever post another video. So I haven't done this yes. in a while. Yes, yes, he hasn't done this in a while. Ako, from time to time. The, actually, how ina ayos niya, explain ko lang no. Yung living room namin, tigido took over our living, living room. room. My so God. It's, it's just full of his toys, his ano, oh, slide. Um, so ginawa na namin siyang play area ni Gido because, you know, he's almost two and <laughs> his energy poop. is. Too much. <laughs> yeah, like so he needs, yeah, malapit na siya. Diba horrible one? No, Tapos ngayon, terrible, terrible two. two. Kaya medyo nakakapagod. But you know, ganun talaga. Buti na lang din, nandito si Kuya Eli. He helps out yeah, a lot. He helps out a lot. So anyway, let's explain this place. So, so we're gonna take over na living room. So we are... Now in the garage. <laughs> My favorite spot. Yeah, kasi he gets to invite My his friends, friends and... Actually, we're going to make this in a, in a like not not a man cave because it's not just for men, <laughs> but for the family. So it's gonna be the fam cave. Cave, ma cave, cave, um, cave family. Pasensya na medyo ano pa siya. It's not as nice yet. Yet. But we're gonna make it nicer, naman. So yeah. So na dito yung motor ni Papa Joe, dito yung bike ni Eli. We're gonna have some darts. Siguro. <laughs> Oh, oh, siguro we can make it into ano uh, a video on how we're gonna transform this ano fam cave, di ba? Pasensya nyo na yung mga ka hello yung mga basura ng bag, bago na may mga laman na mga things. Yeah, we're still not done with the place. Yeah. Now. So yes, but today we are going to discuss winter in December. So totoo ba magkaka winter in December? Totally. Totally. No. So totally no. <laughs> totally not. So today we are going to discuss what? Fake news in the internet. Yes, fake news. Fake news. Period, yeah. So actually, we we decided to do this um, episode one. It's because it's really essential, no? Lalo na sa mga mga teenagers, mga bata na nagi internet and sa mga matatanda na rin na you know na affected na affected sa fake news we are so lucky na binigyan kami ng looking for one ng uh, magazine from Canvas PH so you guys can check this out sa Canvas PH and looking for one okay so this is hashtag you think labanan ang fake news we are going to discuss this kasi this is very important to me dahil ako Ako, syempre, mayroon din mga fake news sa akin. Hindi naman malayo yan because of my work, because I am an actor, celebrity. <laughs> I hate that word. But and also, <laughs> I, a content creator. We are content creators. And then, syempre, si Eli din, uh, masasa nasasabak din siya sa mga ganyan dahil syempre, uh, showbiz family, etc., etc. But, it doesn't really just apply to to us, no. It applies, it applies to a lot of people. Yeah. Right now, random people nga, eh. like. Yes, exactly. So, meron tayong infodemia ngayon or infodemic. And according to Miriam uh, Dash Webster, ang infodemic ay 
mabilis na paglawak ng pagkalat ng tumpak or di tumpak. Alam ba yung tumpak o di tumpak no. na information? Exact and not exact. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, in short, factual and not factual. Yeah. Okay. First of all, why are we fond of the internet? I think everyone, especially now because of the pandemic and since uh, classes had to be online, everyone had to use the internet for, you know, of course, class, like from Zoom meetings or you know Google Meet, mga ganon, and the Google Classrooms for, or just mga for submitting work and for research. So a lot of people are fond of the internet for that. And of course, there are my fellow gamers out there that are on Reddit or on like the websites for the games themselves or just are on social media. Social media also, uh, for me naman, I think I'm on social media a lot because I usually get bored a lot. So of course, I'm fond of the internet in terms of social media and of course the game. Lately, I've been busy with you know, a lot of my passing of school works, but I mean, I mean, I've been because I've been going out a lot. Anyway. Oh, oh, there's a siyang true social life outside of social. True, right? No, but it's because the pandemic, bawal lo mabas yeah. dito, bawal mag basketball. Mag, it's, it's always, ano lang eh, it's always Discord call. So I mean, I'm honestly just fond of the internet because the internet was like my go-to when my mom was gone, like from for London when I was younger, and whenever my mom's at work, also I just. I usually watch videos on YouTube, nga, and then I've always dreamt of like having their, like being able to play games like that. And now yeah, that I'm older, yeah. my mom trusts me now with you know, being able to play games and stuff. That's why I'm fond of it. So I can't, I can't man. Oh, well, ako, I mean, sa, pano, other than the you know, other than the YouTube and stuff. Yeah, because one for work, no. So we have Instagram for work, and we have YouTube for work. TikTok, TikTok is also part of my life now because of. Work and also because it's fun. I don't get to post a lot because I'm busy as a mom. And most of the time, I'm pangit ko, so hindi ako makapag yung quick content man lang hindi ko magawa kasi lahi mo titingin ako sa hindi ko makapag TikTok mo. Ay pangit ko wag na lang. Yeah, we all have those but moments. But other than that, I follow a lot of news uh, websites. I follow news most of the time. Sa here and also sa ibang bansa you know i'm uh, you know naman and also yeah. because i also use a lot of watching no watching hulu <laughs> and on peacock and of course netflix. netflix everybody loves netflix and because i'm a documentary junkie like super hindi ako makakatulog ng walang documentary yeah every time i try to get water or like eat food <laughs> at the middle of the night i always see my mom makaganda sa phone niya yeah, so it's also because, you know, I have bipolar and it really helps me quiet my mind kasi, you know, sa pagod namin ngayon, bal balagi ako may trigger to, um, ano, parang sa mania. Yeah. So, so instead of uh, overthinking at night, I just, you know, I get to watch. So, part na talaga ng buhay natin yung internet period yeah. um pagkagising pa lang i'm sure ikaw ako kasi ay may yeah, the first thing na, i do is check my phone oh yeah ako hindi <laughs> ako, i do tum tum but ako, still the phone <laughs> ako, i always check my phone like no no i mean it's always about the messages for me like every time i always have to check my messages it's like a habit that i've gotten used to now yeah actually pause lang no ngayon ko lang na realize tong lugar natin itong ginagawa natin bagay pang podcast yeah. I was about to mention that late. Can you know? Go, I'm not going to be able to do that. No! Appear, lang, appear. I don't know. Tapos bump it, bump it. Hanggang dun yeah, uh, about that. Nga. I was actually diba? thinking. About, Super cool. I was about ito. to tell you, Kanina, I, might, I was going to ask Sila to make a podcast here. Oh. She gets the projector and stuff to make pod yeah, reactions. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Bam Cave! <laughs> so, we're going to go back to the sa, topic. Sa, yeah, the actual topic. Ano lang yun, out of topic, OT. Wow, I am so updated. OT. <laughs> no, but, okay, so about uh, fake news. So since we are using all this uh, internet stuff, all these platforms, meron talagang mapapadaan dyan na, you know, fake, fake. news and hindi natin maiiwasan yun sa ngayon. So, uh, let us, like, you know, discuss different kinds of fake news. Ano ba yung mga nakikita nating fake news? Ako, okay, ako. The fake news that I find, yeah, it's either the ones on YouTube that are like clickbait. Like, oh, oh, clickbait's yeah. number one, like, for me, I think it's number one in terms of fake news, but 
Cause because I don't really like go on the internet for news, talaga. Like I don't go. Like me. I also know that there's a lot of fake news. Then like not just on the internet, de ba? Oh, kahit sa kapit bahay, pwede tayo magkaroon ng fake news, di ba? Yeah. Like, kunyari, sinabi lang na grabe, meron kaming nilutong steak para sa inyo, tapos hindi pala totoo. So, that's fake news. No, but, um, <laughs> but, okay din kung totoo. Yeah. <laughs> Penging steak. So, that's number one. Yung, yeah. dito ko sinabi, yung mapa... Ito, tingnan natin. Ha? So, ang tawag dyan ay number one. Dito, ito yun eh. Mga iba't ibang anyo ng mga maling Information. So we have number one, mapanlindang o wala sa konteksto. Yon nga yung sinasabi yeah, mo no na parang context. clickbait. Tapos uh, makikita mo yung caption. Yeah, yun tapos, nga, clickbait. Fair, tapos <laughs> yeah, yung mga thumbnail na kalagay. Free, free, free currency for the game. Tapos bigla pag, pag check mo, it's just to get views. Yeah. Oh, nako. Apakaraming ganyan ngayon. You know, you are spreading the wrong or deceptive content, de ba? And yeah. that's not that's not nice. Okay, ako kasi gamer, of course. So parang I get on the gaming side of clickbait, and I see a lot. Like stop, please. But yun nga pa. Wala hindi natin mapipigilan yan. So yeah, anong kailangan natin gawin? You just have to be careful. You have to and be aware. And also we have to fact check, de ba? Pinili siya na sabi ko kanina pag may caption na si Meryl Soriano, uh, may baby number three. Ah, ayan, okay yan. So, si Meryl Soriano nagkaroon ng baby number three. I mean, baka naman mamaya iba yung context nun. Pero, dahil clickbait nga siya, masashare mo na siya agad. Yeah. Hindi mo na siya babasahin. Isashare mo na agad kasi, oh my God, oh my God. So, tiba laganap ngayon yung pag-spread ng fake news because of the information or the caption that you are putting on your in your content. So, important to fact check, guys, before you send it or you share it to others. Because jan nakakaroon ng parang kaya may infodemia, di ba? Ang yeah. bilis ng pagkalat ng maling information. Yeah, fake news is like fire. Like, yeah, it's it spreads fire. It's so fast. It's really like fire. So number two, ano pang klase ng anyo ng fake news? Number two, balitang nilikha para manlin lang. Yeah, like I said nga kanina, so people do it for money. Or they just wanna create chaos about like, oh, they you know fake the fake yan. news like. Tama like, yan. Kaya ito sa tagalog ah. Uri, basahin mo nga. Ah. <laughs> please, ah. please. Okay. Uri ito ng balita na isisun uh, isunulat para kumita man, man lito at mab mabahala. To worry, to cause worry and ah, cause okay. panic. Uh, pawang pawang. Pawang kasi. Pawang kasi kasi ng. Kasi nung... Kasi... <laughs> Kaya mo yan! Kaya oh my mo... goodness! Okay, from the start? Oo, oh my goodness. Para okay. maganda yung flow. Uli ito ng balita na isinulat para kumita man nito at mambahala. Pawang kasi... Kasi nung... Ano? Kasi nung alingan ang laman nito. Oh my goodness. Pawang kasi nung alingan. Meaning, all on true, all lies. Talaga. So, yun nga. So, again, to create noise and cause worry or panic which is not good guys yeah, just, ano ba yan i mean those are kasi when it gets to that point na talaga people are just desperate for either views yeah bye mga ganyan so yun nga, like my mom said fact check but not just that also be careful lang talaga kasi the people who want this or like are actually successful at doing this they really they have experience and they're like I, as much as I hate to admit it, they're smart with doing it. So, parang, just be cautious talaga. Because the internet is, well, it's the internet. A lot of yeah. things are bad and good there. But still. Yeah. So, number three, we have mga conspiracy theory at propaganda. So, mostly political. To, yep. oh, like, for example, I have one example that I just watched on, I think, Netflix. I watched yung, ano, yung one child policy sa China. So when, oh, kasi... Oh, nga pala, China is like really strict sa internet, no? Hindi, no, no, yeah, well, communist sila, so they're completely in a bubble. But I watched that and parang when they started to implement it, as in lahat ng billboards, lahat ng ads, sa train, sa, sa TV, in any form of media, lagi nilang sinasabi na ang is, pag isang anak lang, maganda ang buhay mo. So that is prop... Oh, oh, yeah. They... Brainwashing talaga siya. 
So, Let yun go. yung isa sa mga yun yung isa sa mga kinds of fake news or you know types of fake news na nandyan. So, it's propaganda. So, it's to feed the them brain. to feed them na they would they would rather have one child instead of many uh, instead of two or three. Bakit ka natatawa? Gusto mo nakalagay dito Elvis lives. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Elvis lives. So yon, so that's that's a type of conspiracy and propaganda. Yan mga North Korea, maraming ganyan sa Russia. Dito din naman sa atin, but let's not discuss yeah, that. Okay, number 4. Ikaw magbasa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pagsusulat at pag pagbabalitang ano, may kinikilingan. Kinikilingan. Parang ano siya, meron siyang side. Meron siya. Kunyari, nagsabi ako ng uh, si Elijah Palangka. So basically, it's bias. Yes, tama. Kaling mo dun. Yung mga biased uh, articles na mababasa nyo na talagang taking sides, no? Yeah, those are ano eh. I don't wanna say this like in a bad way, but of course, it's like, it's natural natin to take sides, of course. It's where your brain is like, you resonated with because it ca- because we have opinions yeah, exactly. that's the reality of Somet- it sometimes kasi then people especially now sa generation natin like um, namin pala like uh, mm. mga <laughs> go there's, <laughs> there's a lot of bias around like the fake news like parang I'm not gonna call anyone out call but someone out they're just kidding no, I'm, I'm not gonna call anyone out because I don't know anyone in that culture but cancel culture especially parang I'm not calling them out I'm just giving them uh, giving an example of what fake news can be because people can cancel mga YouTubers or mga like you know parang social media icons celebrities actors yeah, nga, celebrity actors politi- politicians yeah any, anybody any, they can cancel anybody but sometimes it can be for no reason or for ano for biased for biased opinion nga. Kasi, yeah. I mean I'm not putting any shade on cancel culture but from what I from what Ako, I I am yeah, because I don't, I don't it's like, not, I, it's, I don't like it either. But like for example, oh, kinancel mo yung isang tao yeah, and you, everybody take that side. Diba? Na hindi pa naman nila alam yung story. Exactly. Actually, yeah, that's exact. That's actually cancel culture is the perfect example for this, ano, for this, ano, this type of fake news because you can yeah, exactly. It's also based on it's biased to one person's opinion. Eh. Yes. Tapos if you have a lot of followers, of course you're gonna be biased to that person. Yun yung may brainwashing. But, yeah, <laughs> but still, bi- bias is yeah. in a way also brainwashing. Kasi yeah. So the solution to this, if kunyare uh, journalist ka, is responsible journalism, so that yeah. may iwasan natin yung mga ganon yung to take sides. Kasi if you are a journalist and you are to feature uh, a topic or an article. It's important that talagang factual siya and you don't take sides if it's journalism. But then tamang tama yung cancel yung culture. in cancel culture as an example. My God, wala na talagang respeto ngayon sa internet. Sa totoo lang, ano nangyari sa atin humans? My God. As much as I hate to say it, it's true. Like we really have no respect for each other or for anyone else's opinions. I mean, don't get me wrong. Ah. I I agree with what some people say about this generation as a whole for progressing but sometimes I think we're progressing down instead of up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, like it's I know it's my generation but sometimes I hate it. Yeah, totoo. Like, oh my goodness. But hindi, anyway. hindi, totoo yan. Ako, I was subjected to that. Diba? Like for example, nung naghiwalay kami ng papa mo and uh, syempre, uh, you know, bilang mga artista, lagi kaming na uh, natatanong for an interview, lagi kaming gustong i-guest sa mga, wala pa kasing internet masyado na yeah, start yeah. pa lang. So, gine-guest kami sa mga showbiz news programs. Tapos they ask you, no? It, uh, yeah. The and then, ako kasi, ever since, no, simula nung nangyari sa akin yan, kahit nung sa amin ng papa mo, hindi ako nagpa-interview. At all. So, I never gave my side because I always thought and I always I always believe na kumbaga, I don't need anybody's opinion about me because it's a private thing. You know, you have the power to keep your life private. Yeah. Diba? So, importante yan eh. So, diba? Kahit na nag, kung may mga kumalat na news na medyo, you know, nag-hurt ng aking, not reputation, but ng aking, uh, aking image, I didn't really care. Kasi, 
you know, I know what's the truth, and then uh, his his truth also is different. Maybe you know we have different truths. So the banter, ayoko nung banter sa ano eh sa showbiz life. Ayoko nung sagutan. Ayoko nang away, man. Because it, not just that privacy <laughs> is important, talaga. Yeah, like, de ba? And a lot of people now. Sorry, excuse me. Lango. But a lot of people also, because you can get wrapped into fake news because. You're not as private. I mean, I'm not saying everyone should be private. I'm saying that we all have a right to be, uh, not to be like private about our lives. I mean, si mom like turian sa, turan na yun sa akin. But even still, I mean, that's why I'm actually really private about my life. Like, I mean, of course, I my my account on Instagram isn't is public now, and of course, my TikTok is public. But I mean, I, as you see around there, I don't really post about my private life. I don't say what I do. It's more of like I just post because it's fun, or I just post on TikTok because. Everyone else is doing it. I mean, it, it, it is my generation. I'm not afraid to accept that. But I'm I'm afraid, but I'm not afraid to accept the fact that I'm part of this generation. But I'm also kind of I fear for it in a way. Nah, but mahumami the next generation after us will take after our bad habits. Then, because that's what happened, then. Eh. Yeah. This generation took after the bad habits. Ano, ano may last year? Millennials, man. Ah, uh, kasali ba ako sa millennials? I think. Pero nung time na nagkaroon na millennials, <laughs> hindi kita kasali na ako sa millennials yeah, ngayon. Even but like yeah, yeah, but the whole private privacy thing that resonates with me because uh, I was taught taraga like my whole entire life to be private, and thanks to me. Yeah, thanks to mom. Yeah, yeah. but because of that, I've learned that taraga na. Because, <laughs> yeah, But it is important, nene. Because if you're not private, fake news can happen. Uh, it diba? will. It will. It's inevitable. It will, happen. it will. Fake news will happen, and if you're not careful with what you say or what what you do, it's gonna get worse. So kaya it, it's good. It, privacy is really important. It's really important na talaga na na to keep your truth, black truths. Unless ako kasi kahit na alam mo yon parang sa panahon ngayon, di ba gusto mong sabihin na no? Ito yung totoo sa akin. Ako yeah, talaga I don't like it. Eh. I don't wanna debate. defend my defend defend ah. myself because. Ano ng gagawin ko? Wala naman ako responsibility sa mga tao to share my my life because karapatan talaga natin na ka, hindi lang mga artista nating lahat. Like for example, meron ka, 'di ba? Hindi ko sinasabi sa mga tao kung saan ka nag-aaral because it's unsafe. Yeah, mga ganyan. Do, uh, don't worry, ma, i-discuss din namin 'yan sa next episode namin. But for now, Etong mga fake news. Um, again, de ba? Nandito tayo sa huli ka. Kailala ni ng packing information. 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 <laughs> my my advice for you guys to avoid fake news. So then, be like be private. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's, a lot of people understand that. Because a lot of people yeah. talaga ane. Eh, Actually, de ba isa yun sa reason why I didn't want to do uh, YouTube. YouTube. Kasi, yeah, kasi ane sometimes. Kasi hindi. Kasi of course you didn't know that there are other types of content. Pero yung yung ano kasi yung YouTube talaga no eh yun nga nakakatawa kasi dahil we are called content creators uh -huh. pero yung iba content nila yung buhay nila and i don't think for me na you are truly creating content no because tayo kasi ang root natin is to give information. Yeah. Dati is to share yung mga physical activities natin. Mm, mga, eh, we can't diba? do that now. Oh, we cannot do that because of the pandemic. And, and because and, of Guido. And, oh, because of Guido. <laughs> so, yun. So, ayun nga yung sinasabi ko na parang to really create content is very difficult. It's very, very difficult kasi you need to have a core. Parang bago, bago ako nag-start mag-YouTube, yung team ko, Talagang sinabi ko sa kanila for dear mama meme ah is education about motherhood, parenting and family. So kay mama, so kaya separated yung private life mo because you have a topic. Anyway, mapunta na tayo sa totoo sa topic natin. So ito yung fake news, di ba? Tandaan, bago kayo mag-share, isipin niyo muna kung kailangan talaga tong i-share. Yeah. So, before you share, be very careful, be very wise. So, ano yung mga kailangan? Sino ang pinagagalingan ng impormasyon? Mapagkakatiwalaan. Do you trust that website? The Do you source, trust the yeah. source? ba? Diba? Kaya kahit na mapagkakatiwalaan yung pinagagalingan ng impormasyon, it's still important to double-check the facts. Yeah. And then, i-check ang petsa. Meaning, check the date. Kasi minsan nagsishare yung mga tao ng lumang balita at larawan na pwedeng akalaing nangyayari sa kasalukuyan. Yeah, like mga mamaya sabihin, 
Para yung mga alam yung mga zombie na sinasabi. Eh, yung pala 2020 pa yun. Ako nga nag-post nung ano, nung 2018. For example, ako nag-post ako sa TikTok nung journey ko nung pregnancy, 'di ba? Nakita mo 'yon? Oh, yeah. 'Di ba? So akala ng mga tao bunti, may mayroong mga nag-akalang bunti sa Colette. So 'yon, 'di ba? Check muna, read the caption because sinabi ko naman doon, my journey with my pregnancy kay Guido. So nag nag-assume kaagad yung yung ilan na bunti sa Colette. <laughs> So, yun nga eh. So, importante yan. So, ito. Tumingin sa higit sa isang sanggunian. So, meaning, kung nagbigay ng news ang CNN, tingnan mo rin sa BBC, ba diba? Sa ibang mga news outlet sa ibang bansa. Nakakapukaw ba ng damdamin ng headline? Nakakabigla ba ang mga imahe? So, yan. Kunyari, narar- nakakaramdam ka ng matinding tuwa or galit or taho. ba diba? your yung, yung feelings mo are super... Hi tend. Nagiging viral ang maling impormasyon dahil pinaglalaloan ito ng mga damdamin natin. Yeah. Bantayan ng damdamin para mabantayan ng totoo sa binabasa natin. 'Di ba? Kayan, example dito, sponsored post. Kawawang mga cute na koala na ubusan ng tubig na pilitang uminom ng alak. Anong klase? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> What? So syempre magagalit ka, 'di ba? Mga ano ka ma Ma magkakaroon ka ng rage. Ano ba 'yan? Bakit ginawa 'yan sa kanila? 'Di ba? So Oo, oh, oh, 'di ba? Yan, exactly. So last one. Suriin ang kalidad ng mga imahe sa sal- at salita. So what does that mean? Kung ang pinagmumulan ng ulat ay mapagkakatiwala ang mamahay- mamamahayag or organis- organisasyong tagapagbalita. Hindi karaniwan na ang paulit-ulit na pagkakamali sa pagsulat tulad ng sablay na baybay o gramatika. Again, trending. Hashtag COVID-19. Hashtag face mask writer. Hashtag life is dolomite. <laughs> Hashtag mar- 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 Mars testing. Akala ko mari testing. <laughs> Hashtag aerosols. Yun. So, kailangan talagang... Tama eh. Ta- o, o, talagang ano ka, meticulous ka sa details. So, pinapakita pa ng artikulo ang lahat ng panig ng issue. So, yun yung sinasabi natin kanina, di ba? Hmm. Isang panig lang, isang side lang yung pinapakita. pinapakita. Tandaang hindi mo nakikita ang buong kuwento. Story. Story. Yeah. Maging malay sa iyong mga bias o kinikilingan. O mahirap to, sabi dito. Pero tandaan mong maraming impormasyon tungkol sa iyo ang alam ng social media sites. At madalas ay ipapakita nila sa iyo ang mga balitang alam nilang magugustuhan mo kahit hindi pa totoo. Hay. Last ba? talaga to. Okay. Tingnan ng URL bago mo ito pindutin o i-click. So, yun yung clickbait eh, 'di ba? Kasi minsan pinepeke ng mga scammer www.freecar.com Anong yan klase? Yan yung sinasabi mo kanina, di ba? Yeah, but um, it's not, yeah, yun nga, not just videos talaga, it's also the website. It's actually, ads din, fake news. Ay, naku, sobra. Ang daming mga ad na fake news. For those people who play games, you know those fake ads na mga, no? Mga fake games. <laughs> yung mga, play this game! Ganito pala yung gameplay. And when you play the game, it's not that. It's just, it's clickbait for kids din, eh. Super! Kasi, kaya talaga post, target, like, target niyan, eh. There's a lot of free games kasi sa mga app store. Actually, yung nangyayari rin yan ngayon sa text messages. Diba? Yeah! Lalo na nagma-message, get your free, ano, get your free iPhone 13 for this lottery yeah. or something. Kaya ang abangan nyo yung next episode kasi madidiscuss namin yan sa next episode ng The Curious 2. So, yon mga guys. Uh, if you can get a copy of hashtag you think, you can go to um, lookingforone.com and canvasph. And also because gusto ko rin i-share sa inyo na ang looking for one, if you buy one product or if you buy and support, because this is like a community eh, ng mga artists na tinutulungan ng, isa, ng looking for one na pag bumili ka ng isang product sa kanila, you are going to be able to pinibigyan lang sa charity na mga hindi, yung mga hindi afford ng libro, magkakaroon ng libro. Yeah. So yeah. Astiga. Yes. <laughs> And I love them so much, and I love that you sent this. Uh, you sent the magazines, no? Na and dami namin ma because they are so relevant and they are so needed to be discussed. Like for example, why, why, why is it important to me? Because I'm a parent. So kung kayo may mga na mga magulang jan, it's important to know about these things also because you need to. You have. You are responsible. For them to, ano, to understand these things, tiba? Yeah. Tiba, kaya nga 
as a parent, yun responsibility ko. And then ikaw, responsibility mo sa sarili mo because yung generation yung ngayon. Yeah, I still don't like it as much as I like to know anything else. But any last words? Well, yeah, my last words are just, just be careful about what you say, what you do, and what you share. Because uh, that alone will make you a target for fake news. And not just that, that alone can, I know. Can cause chaos and, <laughs> and panic and worry. And problem. Because it's hard to keep track of it. Yeah. When there's fake news. Oh, ang bilis na kasi nang, ang bilis na natin mag-scroll, yeah, mag-ano, mag and then... And share. Oh, yeah, God, yun nga eh. When you scroll, and then parang na, na, na-capture ka nung article or nung caption mismo. Ay! Oh my God! ba? Yeah, si yes. Johnny Depp, etc. You share, share, share. Yeah. So, hindi ka pa complete sa information, nag-share ka na. And also, I think, Ito, very important to me. Aside from being a parent, yung ako bilang ako, na kikita ko yung mga fake news na yan, is really an avenue to share negativity. Diba? Most of the time, yaan yung ine-enhance ng fake news, yung negativity, yung bakit ganun, yung anger. Laging anger pagka maling balita, lalo na sa mga artista, no? Laging galit! Galit na galit ang mga tao na hindi naman nila alam yung tunay na story and then madaming naaapektuhan ng mga celebrities lalo lalo na yung mga bata they don't know how to handle these things the pressure because they read everything na absorb nila yung yung galit yung ganyan yung negativity na yan marami nagsu-suicide yeah de ba so be careful guys be careful sa yung kahit na nararamdaman mo yan or yun yung pinos mo be careful pa din kasi nag engage yung mga tao sa ganyan ang bilis na ngayon ano eh diba yeah, meron... and there are people talaga who live off of it eh. yeah. like those are I mean I don't wanna slander anyone but there are really weird people about it like parang they will they will like hunt you down for the to expose any bad news about it kahit yeah. is in the past and then they'll make it into a thing yung ngayon parang sa date yung, yung mention kanina like check the date before, because it doesn't doesn't just go to the scale of ano eh, uh, whether if it's good or not. It also goes to the scale of the feelings of the actual person. Eh. Exactly. So yon guys. Um, that's pretty much it, no? Oh oh, I get, I guess, I nah, guess that's yeah, it. Yeah, nah. No, but I really hope that you guys Did learn. learn something. Oh, oh learn, 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 learn something from learn. this episode, lalo na sa mga kabataan ngayon and also sa mga magulang. Yes. Kasi, ano, it, it's important to keep these things in mind like we've, like we've been saying the whole video. So we really did hope you learned something. We hope you enjoyed this. And also, thank you so much for watching this video because we love this topic. Um, we, we apologize for like the very late post. Na din. We've been very busy with... Well, Everything, she's been very busy life. with I'm busy with school and myself. And also because we really want to give you um, substantial content. Yeah, and, and we hope know, that you guys can also spread this because it's important to bring this out. Since we're, since you know, what we be saying, the generation nowadays is very fast in terms of sharing. So we hope you guys can share our channel and, and this video, this video specifically. And so yeah, so please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channel, channel, and also like, comment, share. But panorin yung muna bago yung share ha. Yeah, like what we said. <laughs> oh yeah, hindi naman gusto yung content so. Be careful and also follow us on Instagram at the, the curious too. And also Eli is public and uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. follow my follow my Instagram at Kutaki and please follow my Twitch and TikTok YK Zello. And me on Instagram, I also have at Planet Umeboshi and at Dear Mama Meme on, on and on TikTok Meryl Soriana underscore. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys again for watching and staying with us. Uh, we hope you appreciate it and we hope that you liked our topic. So Yon, so we'll see you again next time here on The Curious 2. Bump it, bump it.